how to manifest anything you want. Love, money, specific people, it doesn't matter. You can do it with the law of assumption. Namaste my friends and welcome back to another video. My name is Matt. I'd like to thank you for stopping by to manifest with me today. In this video, I want to talk to you about how you can manifest anything you want. How you can use the law of assumption to manifest what you want. Literally just a three-step method, foolproof method, that will allow you to attract the specific person you want, the love you want, the success you want, the money you want, whatever it is. I think this will be very powerful for you and hopefully for some it will prove to you how easy manifestation actually is. That it doesn't have to be complicated at all. Before we get started though, it is the final day to sign up for 7 Days Too Desirable, How to Be Chased, Pursued, and Wanted Passionately by Your Specific Person. We're down to the final spots and this is the final day I'm going to be offering it, so if you're interested in being one of the last ones to join and get access to uh, the full course and the full experience, there's a link in the top of the description box below. Click it, sign up. I know you're gonna love it. Okay, so how do we use the law of assumption to manifest our specific person or manifest anything at all? Step one is to simply convince yourself that you already have it. So what is it that you want? Let's take your specific person for instance. Claim that you have them already. Claim you're in the relationship now. Claim that they are obsessed with you right now. Convince yourself that that is the truth regardless of what the outside shows. That's what Neville Goddard calls living in the end. And that is really the whole backbone of what the law of assumption is about. Assume you have your desire now and it will harden to fact. It must come to you. Now, here's where things get a little bit messed up because people assume that they have it, they've convinced themselves they have it, but then they go out and they look for their specific person or they start chasing them or they to open their phone up and see if that person texts them, they go on social media and stalk them. They do all these things that's in really contradiction to the idea that you just convinced yourself that you're in the relationship already, that you have the manifestation now. So they mess up in this middle part. And so really they convince themselves they have it, they start messing up the middle part, and then they never get their manifestation. So the main focus of manifesting is literally this middle section. If we convince ourselves we have it, we just kind of have to wait it out until the manifestation comes, until it shows up. So I want to share with you um, this quote from Neville Goddard, which kind of just explains, it's very similar to what I just said as well. Your assumption to be effective cannot be a single isolated act. It must be a maintained attitude of the wish fulfilled. Okay, so that gives us our idea of what we need to do in the middle part. To manifest, we must have maintained attitude of the wish fulfilled the entire time and then we'll manifest what we want. So what does that truly mean, the wish fulfilled? Well, it's again, the idea that you have what you want already, but it's the emotion that you have what you want already as well. And if we can dig down and figure out what that emotion is, we can feel that as much as we can in the middle part and then we will get our manifestation, okay? So if you had your manifestation, if you had your specific person, if you had the money you wanted, if you, what would you feel? How would you feel? Pretty sure you'd be happy. Pretty sure you'd be excited. Pretty sure you'd feel relaxed that there's nothing else that needs to be done, that it's complete. You'd feel contentment. They're, they're all just positive feelings, right? All, every positive feeling that is possible, you would feel it if you had your manifestation. And so in this middle part, to be maintained in that state of the wish fulfilled, we need to feel happy, joyful, satisfied, relaxed, happy-go-lucky, whatever that is for you. If we feel that emotion as much as we can in the middle part, we maintain the wish fulfilled, we get our manifestation. And so the best way to do that is to simply Enjoy your life. Enjoy your life. Stop worrying so much about the manifestation. You've convinced yourself you have it, that specific person, they're mine now, done deal, it is finished. Enjoy your life and watch it come. That's the three steps in manifesting with the law of assumption. Convince yourself you have it. Assume you have the desire now. Enjoy your life and then watch your manifestation come. That's it. If you can do those three things, you're golden. You will get your manifestation. You will get your specific person. You will get what you want. So literally, after you've convinced yourself you have it, after you've said some affirmations and really gotten that feeling state, and know that your manifestation's coming, know that you have it now, wherever that place is for you, go do things that are fun. 
Go do things that are enjoyable. Go enjoy your life. Don't worry about the manifestation. It's done. If you're in the end result, if you're in the state of the wish field, would you be worrying about the manifestation? No, because you already have it. So go enjoy your life. Do things that are fun. Do things that excite you. Do things that satisfy you. Do things that relax you. That is the key to being in the wish fulfilled, feeling those emotions. When I manifest my specific person, that was exactly what I did. I, I knew who I wanted. I knew I wanted her. So I claimed it. I expected it. It's a done deal. And then I just went on with my life. I enjoyed my life. I had fun. I didn't sweat it. I didn't sweat if I saw something in the 3D reality that was in contradiction to my manifestation, to my assumption. I didn't sweat it because I knew no matter what, this is my end result. No matter what, I have her. No matter what, we're gonna be together. That was it. It was a confidence of expectation and claiming the wish fulfilled. And then I just went on and enjoyed my life. And guess what happened? Very, very soon after that, it didn't take very long of me enjoying my life, of me being in that middle part. A couple weeks maybe, my specific person started reaching out to me. They started reaching out to me. And long story short, we're now married. So this works. This really truly works. This is the three-step process to manifesting anything with the law of assumption. Convince yourself you have it, claim it, enjoy your life in the process, and watch your manifestation come. Do those three things and you will manifest anything you desire. Now, what if you wanna manifest a specific person, however, you're feeling down, you're feeling bad, you're feeling sad, can you still do that? I answer that question and go through it with you in this video here, so be sure to check it out next.